What do ants do during the day? A question that is burning on everyone's mind. Just kidding, nobody cares. But you're going to want to see this, trust me. These ants have secrets. Let's get back to the start of the day to find out what they are. When the clock strikes 7, I lit these ants up like heaven. I should be a poet or something. So yeah, the lights automatically go on at 7 a.m. And unlike those influencers who get up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym, these ants get up at 7 and start the day by taking care of the kids. And they are cranky. These are not mummified ants by the way. These are pupae that are ready to emerge as workers. Or as something much, much cooler. Like Bob here. You'll see Bob run around at the end of the day. When they are done caring for the offspring and move them around a bit away from the light, it is time for breakfast. For these ants, breakfast is seeds, but not just normal seeds. They have a special ingredient, but that is a secret saliva. It's uh, saliva. They chew the seeds, mix them with saliva and make some kind of bread. Sounds yummy, but uh, I'll take some eggs. Thank you very much. Their lunch and dinner is going to be much cooler. Trust me. And after that, Bob is making an appearance. 8.13 am, time for coffee, or in their case, sugar water. I put an S on the tube, that makes it easier to remember, this is not normal water. In the next half an hour, they were collecting the seeds I gave them earlier, ready to turn them into some yummy and bread. Wait a minute, I thought ants always landed on their feet. Oh right, that's cats, my bad. As you can see, these ants are very busy in the morning, running around, rushing all over the nest. Makes you wonder what is going on in their head. It is hard to imagine because they are nothing like us. They are so different. Really nothing like us. For a long time, I didn't know what these ants did between 9 and 11.30 am, but now I know. Shit all over the class, that's what and I just cleaned it. I remember it like it was yesterday. So yesterday I cleaned this terrarium and it was definitely necessary. It was nastier than a festival porta potty on the last day, but I've got a good reason to let it get this bad. Cleaning this terrarium really, really sucks. There are hundreds of angry ants inside and I definitely don't want to get bit by one. You'll see why later in the video. That was one, two more to go, I'll speed things up. Okay, that was the easy part, now I need to clean the glass. How? Luckily, I've gotten pretty good at this, it involves a lot of swearing crying and yelling. Surprisingly, I have never been bitten by one, but I do wonder how that would feel. Yeah, it would probably suck. If this video gets 80,000 likes in a month, I will let them do that to my finger. I'll probably regret this. Yeah, too late now. It still looks like a festival porta potty, but at least it's day one, and I don't want to bother you with more cleaning, but I made something very cool. It's a mouth vacuum. You suck on this tube, this is disgusting. And the other tube then sucks up the dirt. Luckily, I'm in very good shape. Let's try it with the ants. This looks weird, but let me ask you this. Are there easier ways to do this? Yes, yes there are. So most of the dirt is here, and the rest is in my lungs. I accidentally sucked up two ants, so I'm putting them back. The last thing I did was give them some fresh Bodengrund. Trying to not bury any ants. That is easier said than done. I'm pretty sure I buried more than zero, but less than 200. So that's a win in my book. Now I know this was a very long detour, but I needed to show you this to explain something. Back to today, because of the new sand I gave them, they kept burying their water tube. This made the sand wet and allowed them to dig new tunnels in the arena. I don't really mind. This way they have a bigger area to nest in, but the water tube was getting empty much faster. 
That's why I put it on a tiny plate, so they couldn't bury it anymore. And then it was finally time for lunch. Keep watching, trust me, this is going to be cool. Bob was starting to move a bit by the way. A lot of you say I talk too much, so I'm shutting up for a while now, while these ants are eating. But don't you dare click off now, this is what you wanted. Ok, one last fun fact before I shut up. These ants are licking the food, not to taste it, like I always thought, but to disinfect it. Their saliva has antimicrobial properties, so they are just making sure it's safe to take into the nest. I'll show you in a minute how they are feeding the larvae inside the nest. You're probably missing my expressive voice, so I'm back. While the ants on top are getting the food, the ants in the nest are still taking care of Bob and the rest of the kids. Bob is almost ready to spread her wings, literally. And in the other nest, the ants are still processing the seeds with yummy saliva. At 4.20 pm, this is all that is left of the meat. They are bringing it in to feed the larvae, so let's take a closer look. And I specifically said larvae. This is the only stage in an ant's life that they eat solid food. The adult ants eat liquid food, meaning sugar water. We're jumping ahead in time a bit, because nothing much happens between these hours. And then it was time for dinner. Don't worry, I don't feed them this much every day, or even every week. These are mealworms, but I'm not feeding them a live one. The ants perfectly accept dead ones. So there's no need for an animal to suffer. So for the people asking, no, I will never live feed them or do an ant war or something. These ants are like men that are coming home with groceries, as few trips as possible. So they're just dragging the whole mealworm in one time. But apparently that's easier said than done. Because of course they got stuck. This, uh, this could take a while. I'll just let them struggle and we'll take a look at Bob now. Bob has grown wings. She is not a normal worker, but a virgin queen. You can see a lot of workers are guarding her royal ass. Speaking of royal asses, here's another one. And one more. And here a few more. So yeah, Bob is not the only virgin queen in here. You would think they are treated different than the normal workers, but no. In here, they also have to work, they just look fancy. At 7pm, the lights go back out, and it's time for you to click on this end screen. Thank you to all patrons, members and everyone that watched, and thank you to the new patrons, Leslie, KS, Nikki and Annie. Bye.